Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we solve lead code SQL questions. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important role for attaining your dream job role. Myself, I'm Ali Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies, which are also available in the lead code platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in lead code platform are there in my github repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. Only the premium subscription questions of lead code as premium playlist. And also, I have segregated all the 230 questions serial number wise ordered. Okay, Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. The question which I am trying to solve it today is type medium question number 0580 count student number in departments. Okay. Let's see the question. Okay. As you can see it is asked for a beginner level role in Twitter. It is consisting of student where the student ID name gender and department are there and their respect to departments whether the student belongs to which department and their name. Okay. Now what they are asking, write an SQL query to report the respect to department name and number of students measuring in each department for all departments in the department table even, okay, if you see even with the no, students with nothing, okay, I will explain you everything. Return the result table ordered by st student number in descending order in case of a tie, order by, okay, they are asking to order by these two columns. Let's see the table. Here you see there are three departments, engineering one, science two, law. And the respective students are the, um, studying any one of the department. If you see last column is the department, which is this one, okay. Student ID, student one is from department one, okay. So, student one is running engineering. Student two, Jane, is also from department one, okay. He is also from engineering. Student three is from department two, if you see department okay so the number of students who are studying in engineering is what there are two students if you see two black lines similarly number of students who are learning science one similarly number of students who are learning law there are no students so zero so we want matching things and non matching things so what we need to do left to join right after doing left to join what we will do we will group by this department name and we will count the number of rows that's it very simple let's write the code for this from department because we are we want all the rows from department if you see not from this table but from department table if it is matching if it is not matching we want everything and we want to check that left to join student table B, how we are connecting a dot department ID equal to B dot department ID done let's see the code. let's run it okay should be student if you see every department is assigned with the respect to students okay now what we want for each department how many number of rows are there that will be the number of things so I will group by student ID not student ID it is student name
sorry department name engineering sorry my mistake department name also we want department name and how many rows are there for each department and they are given a alias name for that a student number let's run it okay they also mention one more condition what they should be ordered by student number in which way descending order way after that they said to assign by to one more thing department name alphabetically so it should be ascending mm, what is the mistake I'm doing wait a minute okay number of rows is null so if you do count of that you will be getting what uh, or like let's write one thing what it's doing is there are two rows one rows nothing is there so null is getting as one more row let's take this thing like this okay let's write it in one more simpler smart way I will write case when mm, department ID is not null then one or else let's call it zero and let's sum this this would be a smarter idea because it is counting the null things also uh, ambiguous colon department id where is the department id it is in b table so b dot yes if you see it got submitted what we have done is let's say there are two rows for department one student id one so department id one for example this department also again this one is there two mm, this uh, two row is there the third row for three nothing is there it's showing what null so what it is doing when it's grouping by this it is saying there are two rows for this one row for this and zero row for this right so what we are trying to do is a smart way I am telling whenever it is not null call it one here it is like this right one 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 two two three null I created case when I said whenever it is not null call it one whenever it is null zero now if we sum it you will get what two one zero a smart technique I used it okay now submit it yes our solution has been accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends colleagues who are preparing for a data analyst and a data scientist in uh, interviews just be disciplined, complete all the 230 questions which are there in the lead code platform. The solutions for that are available in my channel. Achieve your dream job one day, just keep practicing. This is Emily Prasad signing off.